Good morning, good morning. I am at the mall this morning. I like to come in the mall in the mornings on weekdays because there is no one here and it's amazing. I'm also getting my truck washed. They have a tr car washing thing here. But first stop is getting Colleen eyeliner that she asked for. All right, Colleen, I got your eyeliner. Colleen and I, whenever one of us goes to the mall, we always text each other and we're like, we're going to the mall, what do you need? And one of us always needs something. We got each other's back. This is for life. I mean, you can't unsister someone. All right, I'm here. Oh, this music is gonna get flagged in my vlog. I gotta talk where it's not as loud. As I was saying, the music's still loud. I'll just talk fast. It is summer now in LA. It was winter for a while. It was really nice, I liked it. And now it's 90 degrees every day. So I don't have any more summer clothes because when winter hits, I always get rid of the summer clothes that I'm over and then I buy new ones because I'm extra. No, now the music changed. But now I need summer clothes. Truck's all clean. I finished my shopping, got the bags of the things. Now I'm gonna go home, edit, post a vlog. And then I got work to do. I gotta film and edit a bunch of stuff. So that's my life. I, have, I am dating an old man. <laughs> Matt texted me and you know all those uh, food places that deliver food to your door so you can make recipes fresh. This is hashtag not ad by the way. But Matt stumbled upon, I think it's Blue Apron and he texted me, he's like, we need to sign up for this so that we can get it delivered on Fridays because it does three meals. And it sounds like an ad, but it really isn't. They deliver three meals worth of food and recipes. And he was like, we need to sign up for this so it gets delivered on Fridays so we don't have to go to the grocery store on weekends anymore and deal with parking. Why am I dating an old man? It's okay, I'm an old woman. So we just signed up for that. I don't know how it's gonna be, I don't know how it's gonna taste, but we're doing that so we don't have to deal with parking at the grocery stores on weekends because Matt is furious at grocery stores. Usually I'm in charge of going to the grocery stores, but since he's away, he's having to go to the grocery store uh, by himself. <laughs> he's texting me angry. He's like, why can't people pack bags right? Why can't people pack their own bags? Why do they have to stand there doing nothing, waiting for an employee to do it? You have ours! So, anyway, that's what's happening now. I just uploaded my vlog, and I think I'm gonna film a Rachel's room real quick, and then I'm gonna edit all of my videos. Because after I film a Rachel's room, I'll have three videos filmed, and I'm gonna edit all of them. Sorry, watch. You're not gonna get any more steps today. We had our fun at the mall. That was good. Who's gonna feed me dinner tonight? That's a good question. Oh my god, it's so exciting. Everyone's getting their little, do you know what pisses me off? Stickers from my book, Brutering My Book. I just fully groped myself while the camera's on me, so just... We all know I grope people. <laughs> Even myself. Anyway, oh, yeah, it's really exciting. Everyone's finally getting their stickers, and it's cool. I think it's really cool. I'm excited about it. If you guys don't know, if you're new here, I wrote a book. You can pre-order it below, and if you do pre-order it, you can sign up with another link below uh, to get a little sticker with my signature on it that I signed myself. I sent you, and it's open for America, United States, and the UK. I'm sorry, Australia, and New Zealand, and Singapore, and all of the other places. I, you know, I pushed for it, but for some reason, legal distributing rights or whatever, it's only available for the America, UK, and Canada. But I love you guys still. I love you so much and I'll give you kisses. I'm hungry and made me think about dinner. So I'm gonna text Colleen and see if she'll feed me tonight. Trent, stop texting me, I'm busy. I'll text you in a second. Trentifer? What the crap? <laughs> Colleen replied back and said, she's going to a bachelor party. What in the world? Who's getting married? She confuses me sometimes. Anyway. Dang it, I had to feed myself. Ugh. I almost made it a full week. I almost made it a full week without having to feed myself dinner. <sighs> I just filmed to Rachel's room and sweat my face off for a part of it. <sighs> Don't worry, I showered. <laughs> Got all the sweat off of me. But now I'm gonna go to the grocery store to make homemade hot dogs. I have to make myself dinner. The new thing of the day is me making dinner, but also it's gonna make homemade hot dogs because someone sent me a link to that and it looked delicious. So let's go get the ingredients. I'm exhausted. When you see it, you're gonna be like, Rachel, that's what you sweated over? Really? How out of shape are you? Very, very out of shape. But it was a lot of effort. <laughs> I did not know that there were this many yeasts in the world, plus yeast infections. 
sorry, bad joke. What else do I need? Cornstarch, how much? That's my question. Okay, I need one cup fine cornstarch, but I don't see nothing that says fine. I mean, they look good, but they ain't fine. I am so sorry for these terrible jokes. You guys, this lighting is something that is not cute. So, as much as I normally don't care about what angle I film from, lighting is everything. All right, are you guys ready to watch me make and eat homemade corn dogs? You're not allowed to eat me, they're all mine. Because I'm freaking ready to make them. All right, that was I'm using a bendy tripod and I haven't quite figured it out yet. All right, there's a thing and you put the milk inside of it. Ooh. And you have to make it 110 degrees. And then you put some yeast inside of it slowly while you stir it. Oh, look at that. And then you have to let it sit for uh, two minutes. And then you put some olive oil in the thing. And then you put some brown sugar in the thing. Well, I just discovered that I bought cornstarch instead of cornmeal. So I'm gonna have to go back to the store. I'm not happy about it at all. I'm very hungry. I'm angry. Penny poured it down and I got it. Now I'm sweaty again. Gosh darn it. All right, time to scratch everything I already did and restart. And back to, back to where we were. You put the cornmeal in the thing and then you put the milk that's hot and the yeast inside of that. Then you mix it. Just keep on mixing. I'm such a good mixer. Done. And then you add flour. Lots of flour. And then you add salt. Whee! And then you add baking soda. And then you realize you put too much baking soda in it. So you have to try and take some out. This is winging it. And then you add the other stuff. And then you mix it. Then you put it on a floured surface and get all the little crumbles out and you do the, this for a while. All right, so I put all the ingredients together and I have to put it in a lightly oiled bowl with a towel on top for one hour. This is what I don't like about cooking. It takes too long and there's always twists and turns you weren't expecting. I'm so tired and hungry. There's flour all over my camera. <laughs> I put some sticks and some dough, and I floured my surface. And it's almost time to take this out of the thingy. Oh yeah, put that down right there and smoosh it. Smoosh it real good. Do you feel that? Now roll that dough. Nice long strokes. Ooh, that looks nice. Now cut it, and make sure you cut it exactly how it's supposed to be, because you follow the rules. That's a nice slice. Girl, you done good. Now you roll that wiener. You roll that wiener good. That's a nice looking wiener. All right, I'm doing four. I have leftover dough. I think this would make about maybe eight to 10 dogs, depending how you do it, but I'm only doing four. I don't even think I'm gonna eat that much, but I was just preparing myself. All right, I put beaten egg on top of them, and now I'm putting them in the oven for 15 minutes. Boom, for 15 minutes. Boom. Boom, corn dogs. Let's see if they taste good. I'm pretty proud of myself, like I made them. They are made. That's the thing. They've been made. Now, time to eat. This is gonna be hot, huh? Well, hopefully the condiments cool it down. It smells like egg. I put a lot of egg on the top. It smells very eggy. Now here's the thing. As I was making this, and I baked it and whatnot all by myself, I have a feeling it's not gonna taste like a corn dog. It's going to taste like a breaded dog. They're hot. They're good but it's not a corn dog. It is a hard bread shell on a hot dog. It's good. I'm going to eat probably all four of these, but it's not a corn dog at all. But I ain't hating. I just went over to Colleen's and hung out for a little bit. Ah, fun as always. And she wasn't at a 
bachelor party. Forgot someone was getting married. She was at like, the bachelor season finale. Freaking, oh, my worst nightmare. Anyway, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.